Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the secret troop transport variant of the Shadow in Halo 2. So, just as a refresher, the Shadow is a vehicle that only appears during the mission outskirts in Halo 2, and this is the one that I'm talking about. However, in Halo 2, on outskirts, we only see the variant of the Shadow that carries ghosts around, and that's it. There's actually another variant, that's the troop transport variant that you see here. Now actually, fun fact, this troop transport variant is actually the default original variant of the Shadow. It's actually the, uh, the other variant, the ones that are carrying the ghost. That's actually the alternate variant, and it's called the cargo variant. But we actually never see this troop transport variant anywhere in the game. It's, uh, it's effectively cut from the final game and just unused essentially. But it still exists in the game and can be spawned out uh, pretty easily. And as you can see, the uh, well, we're playing as elites right now, and we made all the enemies here our uh, allies just to make this uh, video a lot easier to film. But basically, the troop transport variant has a floating couch in the middle that's used to carry troops around. And surprisingly, this is actually quite a pleasant surprise, in fact, in anniversary graphics on Halo 2 PC, MCC PC, uh, it actually works, like in anniversary graphics. It, it's fully remastered, fully retextured in anniversary graphics, which is... Um, it's uh, it's quite rare actually because um, so far we haven't found any cut content in Halo 2 that uh, also got remastered anniversary graphics. Like the uh, the textures on the seat, they're they're pretty much uh, unique to the Shadow. I don't think they were reused from anything else. So I'm a little surprised they actually remastered that, even though this variant of the Shadow is completely uh, unused and like I said is considered cut content. But aside from that, uh, just you know, aside from anniversary graphics, the troop transport variant of the Shadow itself does work uh, pretty well. The uh, grunts can get in just fine. Uh, as you saw there, elites can sort of get in, but depending on the seat you get into, they uh, they don't get in properly, and the animation is sort of broken. I mean, they have the animations to get on, just like the grunts, but once they sit down, they just stand straight up and then like float above the seat, and then their head's stuck in the ceiling. Uh, I don't quite know why that's uh, the case here, but it seemed, it's probably like the issue uh, with their animations not being complete with the seat or something like that, not fully supported. But there is one seat that the Elite can get into without you know glitching, and that's this seat here, the front left seat of the, uh, the little couch there. The elite, the elite can get in, it stands up, it still stands up, but he doesn't you know float and get stuck in the ceiling, and he still holds his weapon out, which does uh, indicate that it's uh, a proper seat. Plus, uh, once in that seat, the Elite can get out and get back in, so it's not bugged. Whereas the other seats where the Elite's actually floating in the ceiling, well, once the Elite's in that seat, they can't get out. They're pretty much stuck until they die. But that's, uh, like I said, that's, that's most likely because their animation's either bugged for those seats or wasn't complete. Like, I, I, I don't know, like, at what point, like, my guess is that with the sh this variant of the Shadow, it was kind of cut from the game like later in development where it was almost fully complete but not maybe not all the animations are properly like uh, assigned or added for the elites to get into all the seats I don't know or, or maybe that was on purpose and only only that front left seat was meant for elites but I, I have no idea that's just my guess that maybe it was, it was cut you know later in the development where it was nearly finished but like I said uh, that one seat is fine for elites, and let me let me just show you real quick what happens if, uh, like, I'm an elite right now in third person, and if I get into the seat as an elite, uh, in third person I am stuck in the ceiling, and I can't shoot my weapon. Whereas the other player in my game, he got in the right seat and he can shoot and get out, but I cannot get out nor can I shoot un until he kills me. <laughs> That's the only way to get me out. But you know, aside from that, the other seats work fine for grunts, and no, not elites. As for jackals, they can also get into the uh, the seats there on the little couch here. However, just like the elites, they their animation also seems to be broken when getting in, which is strange because I, I on the uh, picture on uh, Halopedia, there's only like one picture of this, and that's uh, somebody actually brought it to my attention recently. But in that picture, it seems to be like on the OG Xbox version or something. The um, the jackal was able to sit in just fine next to a grunt, so. I'm, I'm not sure like why it's broken in this version. It, I don't know if it's like MCC, the animation's broken, or some other mod was done to make it like fully functional. But you know, the, 
in, in this version at least, without any additional mods, the Jackal does not get in properly. But anyways, as you can see, only Grunts, Elites, and Jackals, sort of, can get into the uh, the couch on the uh, Troop Transport Baron of the Shadow. But yeah, so there you guys have it. That is what the um, Troop Transport Baron is like. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting, make sure to leave a like. Uh, if there's anything else you want to check out and look into, or anything else you want me to tackle, any questions you have, just let me know, and I'll definitely do my best to look into when I get a chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.